How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's all about what you need to know before getting into the HVAC trade. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by RLS and by True Tech Tools. Are you tired of not finding good quality tools in your local supply house? Well, check out truetechtools.com. They carry all of the good, high quality brands like RLS, Navac, Fieldpiece, Appion, and the list goes on. So check out truetechtools.com and make sure you use the promo code QUALITYHVAC to save yourself 8%. All right, so today we're gonna be working on installing a hood vent for the kitchen. Um, today, what we gotta do is basically cut the hole in the sheetrock, run it up through the attic and through the roof, and then we have a roof cap to install. Um, should be 10 inch, but we will see what we have room for. That's what we're working on today. All right, so that leads me to uh, tip number one of this video, and that's gonna be, you're gonna need a lot of tools in this trade, depending on if you're an installer, service tech, whatever the case is, you're gonna need to figure out what tools you're gonna need. And those can get expensive real quick. Now, obviously there's budget friendly options out there. You can go with, you know, uh, Harbor Freight, Northern Tool, Home Depot. Um, they all have their house brands that you can get, and you can save a lot of money that way. Um, and that's something that I did when I first started out because I just didn't have the budget for it. But as I, you know, over the years went by and I had a bigger budget, I upgraded to better tools. It's not necessary to have the best tools, but it sure does change the experience that you have when you are working, when you're working with some good quality tools. They last a lot longer. You don't have to replace them as often and they're just a pleasure to work with. So, but that's tip number one is that you really need to look at a budget and figure out what tools that you're gonna need, whether it's hand tools, drills, power tools. Um, some companies, if you are like say a service tech, some companies will supply the larger tools like the vacuum pump, um, gauges, you know, things like that, recovery machines. You don't actually have to buy those yourself, but not all companies do that. So that's the first tip is thinking about your tools, how much you're gonna to wanna to spend, what's necessary, what's not really necessary, and what you can just upgrade along the way. I know, I measured it. I know what I'm doing, son. Judaism, son. See it. Pretty good. Well, I 
get the bottom. There you go. Now you can work the top. You like it? Yeah. All right. So now I'm just going to mark this with the roof line. And then... Huh. All right, you got the tape with you? Hand me that tape real. All right, you ready? Seam went up towards you, didn't it? Is that about right? Make sure my my lines match up. It looks, looks like it needs to be twisted, I think. Something like that. Let me go get the uh, the cap and see how it fits before we tape anything up. Markers, but I'd had it. This roof is just tanned it up. All right. Yeah.
stuff is thick, dude. All right, so that leads us to tip number two, and that's gonna be working in the elements. Now, a lot of people don't really think about this, so I'll, this really depends on where you're located in the world, if it's gonna be like super hot or super cold or even both, if you're working in the snow or like super high temps and dry heat, um, obviously that depends on where you are in the world. But that's something you need to take into consideration that you're gonna be working outside um, sometimes you're working inside, right, in hot attics or um, mechanical rooms that are super hot, whatever it is, right, depending on the application that you're in. But you really need to know that you need to be or get yourself acclimated to working in those elements. Uh, for an example, this morning we walked out, out of the shop. It was 16 degrees, and in Tennessee, that's pretty darn cold. We're not really used to working in really cold weather here. But... I had to layer up just so I could get warm and you know do what we needed to do this morning. Thankfully, I've got some good clothes and that really helps out a lot. Um, but working in the elements is something that you need to get ready for mentally, physically, um, clothing wise, all of that. But that's something that you really need to pay attention to uh, depending on where you are, is that you're gonna be working in some crazy weather. All right, so the final thing to think about before getting into the HVAC trade is that you got to be mentally tough. All right, yes, you need to be physically fit to some level, but more than that, you need to be mentally tough because you're going to be put in a lot of different situations um, throughout installing, service, whatever application that you're going to be working on. Let's say it's going to be, you know, um, you know, getting into a specific area that's very difficult. Mentally, you're not going to want to do that. That's, you're going to have these mental battles every single day. It's basically due to uncomfortableness, right? So things aren't going to be comfortable. It's going to be super hot, super cold, working in a tight area, um, lugging around a lot of tools, heavy, heavy tools or heavy equipment, um, you know, running two more calls when it's, you know, six o'clock at night on a Friday and they, you know, still want you to run those two calls. Just situations like that. It takes a lot of mental toughness to do this job and um you know still to this day i've been in this industry now for a little over 20 years and i still struggle with that i still have to check myself and say you know hey are, are you taking the easy route or are you doing what you're supposed to do to serve your customer properly so that's going to be the third and final thing that we talk about in this video but to me it's the biggest one because we're dealing with all types of situations, different people, different equipment. Um, you know, you, it could be raining and you have to go up on a rooftop and work on a piece of equipment. We could be dealing with, you know, dangerous things, safety is involved. There's just a lot of things going on that revert back to your, men your mental strength and how you deal with everything, how you deal with coworkers, how you deal with bosses and customers that are super upset with the company or even you if you messed up. Um, or just the simple fact of, let's say you're troubleshooting something and you don't really know what you're doing or you've never worked on that piece of equipment before. And um, so there's a lot of mental strength there for where you need to calm down and think about the process, think about uh, troubleshooting it properly and not being all up in your head. So that ties back to mental toughness as well. I could go on and on and on about the mental side of this industry. Um, you know, not even getting into family life as far as like always working all the time and not, you know, having that work life balance and how that does affect you mentally as well. But again, that's super important being mentally tough, making the right decisions day in and day out, because at the end of the day, you need to be safe. You need to get home to your family.
So anyhow, these are just a few things to think about before getting into the HVAC trade. And um, I really hope that, you know, you got something out of it. You learned something. It gets your, you know, the gears turning in your brain. But uh, give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, see you later.